Hello, Mr. Barton here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a live quiz. Now this is flipping exciting stuff, right? So normally, and in previous videos, I've shown you how to build a quiz, find a quiz, and set a quiz as homework to your students so they can complete in their own time. But we have a facility where you can actually run a live quiz in the classroom. And this works really, really well because Students have got their own devices, whether it's phones, tablets, laptops, or whatever, um, and they can see the question in front of them, um, and you can project it up on the screen as well, but you can control the speed that things happen. So you can say when we move on to question two, when we move move on to question three, and so on, and you're seeing all the answers coming in live, so you can, you can uh, interject and adapt. So a couple of years ago, we tried this with all our year 11. So 200 kids, all in the hall, um, 10 question quiz, I'm at the front controlling things. Everyone starts on question one and I'm seeing the answers coming in live. And it was brilliant because it meant I could stop and I could see, right, flipping out loads of people are going for A and A is the wrong answer, but I've got some going for C. I'm reading their explanations. They've got it right. Okay, fine. Lucy, you go and sit over there. Dan, you come to the front and I could move. And it was dynamic and it was flipping chaos, but it was just great. So live quizzes are really good to do. And especially now we've got the diagnostic questions app, it just means you're not having to rely on technology and perhaps wife, dodgy Wi-Fi connections and all that kind of stuff. So let me show you how to do it. Dead, dead simple. Um, go across to questions. And basically, those of you who followed um, how to assign a quiz as homework, well, it's exactly the same process. Uh, so we're going to find the quiz that we want. So I'm going to go to the quizzes tab here. Give that a little click. My internet's running a bit slow today. And here we go here. So we, in a second, all the quizzes will load up. And let's say, for example, I want to do a, a live quiz with my year eight. So I click on year eight revision quiz, and this is the exact same screen. Everything's the same. And if I was assigning it for homework, I click assign to class. But no, 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 look at this, host live quiz. So let's give that a little click. And this will enable me uh, to do a live quiz. It'll just take a second just to load up. And this, hopefully, you'll agree with me, um, couldn't be simpler. There's me quiz code there. So all, um, all I need to do now is tell my students to go and join this quiz. Now, the easiest thing to do is to project that quiz code up at the front and then say to the students, right, I want you to log in. So I'm logged in as one of my students here. I want you to go to the quizzes section. So the easiest way to go here is to go to questions. Again, apologies for this, the state of my internet. This is, this is what it's like living in the north here. So go to questions. Then we're going to go to, once this loads up, we're going to go to quizzes. And again, students can do this on their phone or wherever. And then look here, join live quiz. All they need to do, write in the code, click join live quiz. And that's it done and dusted. They're then officially entered into the same quiz. Um, if, again, it just takes a second to load up. If you go back there, eventually that will update to say that there's now one person in there. Um, so we're waiting for other people to join and so on. And then once enough people have joined and everything's good to go, you just click start and you're in full control over that and you get all the data in. So give it a go. As I say, it's a bit of a chaotic lesson at first, but I promise it's worth it. 